everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel and Euro Truck Simulator 2. Today we are up to episode 51 of our Let's Play series so if you could quickly drop us a like it would be much appreciated and of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So today episode 51 you may be able to tell that my uh, voice is a bit uh, all over the place today. A bit of a flu bug going around again I should think. Uh, yeah, episode 51, we are in the Scania T-Series, as you can see here. Uh, what we've gone and done is changed this T-Series to a, a right-hand truck. So what we're going to do is use this truck for any jobs that we stay in England. Keep this one in England all the time now. Um, yeah, so what we've got planned for today is a job... Uh, we did a job uh, just to make sure everything was working fine with this truck. Uh, so we are down in London. So we're going to click onto the freight market just here. And the first one that's already just disappeared, let's click on London. There we go. So what we're going to do is this high tech device from London up to Felixstowe. They've got the red and white striped banner just there which says that it's uh, a special cargo which means we have to do this one under escort as well so it should be uh, an interesting one to do but uh, that's what we're going to do is get paid 10,000 plus euros for this one so we're going to set the GPS and continue that as we say this truck is pretty sorted for heavy haulage anyway due to the uh, chassis we've got uh, so let's continue that and we can of course get underway. So what this is going to do is obviously load in eventually when it loads in is the uh, truck, there we go. And let's break off, get some lights on and yeah there we go. Get some wipers on as well. heading over that way. I to think where the entrance was here. So yeah, like we said, we were standing in London, we got the uh, truck uh, a job done, we got the truck all repaired, etc, and we just slept. So uh, yeah, we should all be ready for today. Obviously if we knew we were going to be doing a special cargo today, then uh, we wouldn't have slept because it would have uh, uh, refreshed our driver hours anyway as it does with all special cargoes Excuse the sneezing as well there. Like I say, I think I'm suffering with a flu bug once again. Let's get underway. Let's return it right just here into this yard here. just there. Freight market once again and it should automatically pick up the uh, GPS one. There we go. Take that job straight away. Yes, continue. So the tanks were refilled and the driver hours have been reset. This is the, uh, the high-tech part. Nice round piece. It's obviously overhanging on the trailer. Taking a selfie there with this little camera stick, but uh, yeah, this is what we've got. It's not particularly long or particularly heavy. It's just oversized and wide. So 
we'll see how we get on with this one of course getting the instructions on how to actually follow the escort vehicles which you don't need to worry about so let's get underway turning right <coughs> All the wrong buttons here. Alright, let's get underway. Apologies for that. So, I think we're going to have to pause there and we'll be back in just a second. Okay, so let's get underway. I've gone. Uh, just a bit too far there. Unfortunately, just had to stop off just quickly go and blow my nose. Like I said, I'm uh, suffering today with this <coughs> cough and cold. Terrible sore throat, so I think it's the start of a flu. Get into that time of year, of course. too much of the uh, building work outside as well on the uh, background got the diggers and the cutters etc they're digging up pathways to put in uh, fiber cables so hopefully you can't hear too much of that in the background being a bit of a nuisance to be honest but there we go beacons on as well. In fact what we do want to do is get a screenshot for today as well. I click that photo mode. So that we can uh, do the thumbnail for today. do us just there. Quite a nice picture. So yeah, we can get underway. The wipers can go off now. Don't need those on. Change lane manoeuvre coming up. So as we said previously, the change lane manoeuvres, what happens is the rear one uh, goes out first once it's all clear, that stops anything coming past, then the front one goes out and then we follow the front one out. Front escort vehicle is going ahead to warn other drivers. Escort vehicle to catch up now. And then, of course, we'll be on our way on the M25. Like I say, we are going round to uh, uh, Felix, though, today. up 
So a relatively uh, simple job, but one that's still going to take a bit of time, as we can't uh, do any speeding, obviously with those escort vehicles on as well. We can speed up to them. Got the just going ahead to one of the other road users, and you've also got to change lane maneuver as well. <coughs> so, yeah, pretty uh, straightforward day. Excuse the sneezing once again. So I'm going off this one just here. Device 45 tons, uh, 6.6 .6 by 6.6 .6, uh, by 1.4 yards. So uh, not that big, but uh, big enough. It's expected to be there Wednesday. Got quite a range. When it's expected to be there, got 13 hours and 30 minutes before it needs to be there. Let's have a change in lane once again in just a moment. Whoa, what are we doing? etc to get past. So there goes the back one out, there goes the front one out, and then we can do the same. Pick up a bit of speed again. just over. So Martin is uh, out one of our drivers that are based uh, in Cambridge with us. He of course has access to our own trailers. We've uh, got those three trailers we've purchased and put those uh, all in Cambridge. At the moment we are just letting the drivers in Sweden, Stockholm in Sweden, just doing their things. We've obviously purchased all the trucks. All with the uh, company delivery on. Change lane manoeuvre coming up. Slow it down while 
whilst we wait for that. Front escort vehicle to go out. Vehicle's going to hit to warm, we can of course speed up a bit, which means the uh, one behind will speed up as well. That way, we are uh, not waiting too long for him to catch up. Whilst you're on roads like this, it's not too much of a problem. You've got to uh, overhang both sides. You also got the uh, lane, the breakdown lane, emergency lane, whatever you'd like to call it, on the left. You've got uh, the additional lane for overtaking vehicles on the right. Cruising along nice and steadily. Certainly one of those jobs that you're not going to be able to rush. We are turning off at the next junction for Felixstowe, of course. And then uh, we won't have long to go. We've got, what, 18 miles left to go. 40 minutes to do it as we've said previously on these special cargo jobs we have right away uh, over red lights etc traffic on the slip roads etc this is where you have to now be careful because you've got no overhang on the left right, all the posts and the signs etc and then of course you've got that uh, barrier on the left just here of that. We obviously don't want to damage the uh, trailer or the cargo. <laughs> to be honest I think uh, it's actually sitting above that railing anyway on the left. said we've uh, been upgrading our map over the recent weeks so we've got all the map situation sorted now all until they uh, release the 
be on the Baltic Sea DLC. As soon as they release that, that's going to obviously mess up our map. Hopefully we should be sorted from now on. We are going to just do a couple of small jobs the rest of this week. Uh, today, obviously, we're doing this uh, heavy haul. Or special cargo, whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, tomorrow, I think, it's going to be something very similar. Okay, what we... Uh what we're creeping for here. Get those lights off. Leave the beacons on though. In fact, if we put the side lights on. Give us all those uh, additional lights. We have upgraded this truck as well for various lighting things. But, uh, we're turning right in here. It's obviously going out on a ship somewhere. While we're down here at the docks, just simply pull into the bay just there. Stop there. We can hit that handbrake and the T key, and that will uh, cut all the trailer for us. So there we go, 10,718 euros is what we got off that one. Uh, we can click com current company job offers just to see if there is anything else down here ready to go. Oh, we've got some bits and pieces looking at this. But that looked more like the world map ones than uh, where we currently are. But uh, here we've got various bits and pieces. We currently have got this change to cargo weight because obviously we wanted something uh, half decent. Uh, let's change this to price. So that's obviously going to be a small job on the opposite way. So there we go, that's the biggest job that we've got at the moment. down uh, to uh, Romania which of course we did like say extend this map all the way out into Turkey Azerbaijan, Georgia uh, we've got Russia etc Belarus, Poland which was already here but yeah we've probably expanded we've got up north as well Sardinia and uh, Tunisia on as well but that is uh, going to be it for today we'll obviously hunt for a decent job see what we can find but uh, if you have enjoyed today's episode remember to drop us a like don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel of course and if you could share this video with family and friends or anybody else that you think may enjoy it it would be very much appreciated but like I say that is going to be it for today's episode hopefully you have enjoyed Thank you very much for watching and we shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.